I will remove the back and have a look inside the watch. Yes, well it's definitely time for a service now. Remove this oscillating weight out of the road for a second. We'll just take the crown and stem out here carefully. And that's it out. Set that aside for a moment. Yes, there's like a bit of moisture damage has got inside this watch at some point. You can just see that on the oscillating weight. So, we're going to loosen these case screws up. And this will let us slide the movement out. Let's move that out of the road again. And these case screws actually loose. I will remove the back and have a look inside the watch. Yes, well, it's definitely time for a service now. Remove this oscillating weight out of the road for a second. Take the crown and stem out here carefully. And that's it out. Set that aside for a moment. Yes, there's like a bit of moisture damage has got inside this watch at some point. You can just see that on the oscillating weight. So, we're going to loosen these case screws up. And this will let us slide the movement out. Let's move that out of the road again. And these case screws actually loosen up by turning them clockwise. Normally most, most screws loosen turning anti-clockwise, but in this case they turn clockwise to loosen up. So we'll just move the movement inside the case here. Just to see how, yeah, that's moving free enough. That's good. I'm just going to move that a little bit more, and this should slip out easily. We'll turn it over, and there we are. So that's the Rolex out of the case. I'm just going to refit back in the crown and stem here. Nice and easy. Just need to slide that in just a little bit more. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. We'll just yeah, that's fine. So, I'm going to line the hands up here. And, yeah. And then we're just going to cover them with a dial protector. This filament over the top of it. And this ensures that no scrape marks happen to the actual dial. So nice and carefully using these hand extractors. It looks a little bit precarious, but it's actually fine. Nice and easy does this. There we are, that's it. I will remove the protector. See the seconds hand just came away, we'll get that in a second. So one minute hand off. Then the hour hand. And now we'll move that seconds hand back into out of the road. So there we are. And that's a diamond set. A diamond studded dial. 
So we're now going to locate the dial screws that hold the, the dial along with the dial posts in position. I tend to wear these finger cuts quite a lot really. It's just to make sure there's no moisture or any oiliness from your fingers gets onto the watch. And we're holding this nice and gently. It's just for the purpose of the video at the moment. <laughs> 